The third race, second elimination, 2001 Canadian Trotting Classic. There, off and trotting. Bionic Ballad had a good start, right tight to the gate. On the extreme outside comes Diamond Goal. And in along the inside, partnership problem. It's Bionic Ballad directly to the front. Annie's SJ is on a break. Five trotters back. Major Digby is pushing through. Royal Pocket to tuck in from six. The Mare I Can is seventh away. Annie's SJ still off stride. Danish Delight is the trailer. Bionic Ballad is up front into the first turn and driving on his outside flank, trying to take over top honors is Diamond Goal. Bionic Ballad and Diamond Goal had a battle around the first turn. Two more lengths back to partnership problem. Banker Hall is fourth on the outside at this stage. Bionic Ballad is trotting on. The quarter was 27 and four. Bionic Ballad, Diamond Goal cannot forge past. Banker Hall is on the outside third and has been out there all the way. Sitting on the inside fourth is partnership problem on the way to the half. Royal Pocket, six lengths back in fifth position. A mare I can is sixth. The gapping seventh was Danish Delight. Then Annie's SJ is distanced and so is May. Major Digby and finally taking over Banker Hall, but he parked past the half in 56 and 1. Banker Hall, Bionic Ballad sitting right on the leader in second, three eighths of the mile to go. Diamond Gold was hard spent early and is coming back out again from third on this final turn. Right there, fourth is partnership problem from a following trip, and Royal Pocket moves up on the outside from fifth. Mary Can is sixth outside over to head stretch, then Danish Delight, Annie's SJ. The distance trailer was Major Digby. They turn for home. Banker Hall is still the one. Bionic Ballad bravening up in second. On the outside, third is Diamond Goal, 125 and four. They pass three quarters. Banker Hall and Trevor Ritchie by two. Content to follow along in second is Bionic Ballad. He's brought to the outside now. Here comes Bionic Ballad at Banker Hall on the end of this. But Banker Hall will capture the second Canadian Trotting Classic elimination. Bionic Ballad was a great second, and the mare I can finish third. Partner problem fourth banker hall 155 and two The third race winner of the second elimination, 2001 Canadian Trotting Classic, is Banker Hall. Balanced image, three-year-old Bay Colt from Bicor Jazette. Owned by Tommy Anderson of Gotain, Sweden. Trained by Harold Lunday and driven to victory by Trevor Ritchie. Readying to surpass $700,000 in life's earnings with a victory in the second elimination of the 2001 Canadian Trotting Classic. Banker Hall, in Woodbine's third, took a life's best of 155 and 2. Making the presentation is Mr. Jamie Martin. Jamie Martin, the Vice President of Standard Bread Racing for Woodbine Entertainment on the Woodbine and Mohawk Circuit. Really, I was trying to relax him, but he didn't really want to relax on me, but uh, once he got to the front, he, he was real strong. So you probably, yeah, because I thought when I was watching the race, I was saying Trevor's probably going to sit here, but all of a sudden he came flying out. Uh, what was the main reason for that? Well, like I say, he was just a little bit too anxious. Uh, there was a hole there uh, fourth, and I was going to duck him into it, but uh, he just wanted to go a little too much, and I was scared if I doubled him up, he might make a break. So I just kind of kept him out wide, and, uh, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough that uh, uh, things worked out. Sackley's coming at you a bit here with another Ontario sired Colt by Royal Ballad. Uh, were you worried at all or were you pretty strong at the wire, Trevor? Yeah, no, I mean, halfway through the lane, I felt Mike Rice strong on my back, and, uh, uh, you know, you're always happy when the wire comes and you're on top. And uh, obviously, post position is going to be, uh, I guess, a bit of a factor, but tonight you proved that from an outside posting, you still get the job done. But uh, I would imagine you're looking for a little better post next week. Yeah, no, w once you get to the final, you, you, get, you uh, group all of the best together, and uh, post makes a lot more difference in the final. Okay, he's Canada's Driver of the Year in 2000, and the way things are going right now, he may be back for Driver of the Year in 2001. Congratulations, Trevor. Thanks, Ken.